Hi everyone. Before we start our lesson, let's watch this video. What do you see from this video? As you can see, the video show the lorry is transporting goods from sources to destination. There are a few factors to be considered before transporting goods from supply to demand. For example, the supplier has limited sources, while the demand is unlimited, and there are various transportation costs incurred. Let's say we have three factories able to supply pillow. For example, Factory X, Factory Y, and Factory Z. Factory X able to supply 60 units of pillow. Y 85 unit and Z 55 unit. The pillow will be transported to three demand area. For example, market A which demand 95 units of pillow, market B and market C are 72 unit and 33 unit respectively. The cost per unit of transporting the pillow from factory X to demand A is RN 17 ringgit per unit, X to B is 11 ringgit per unit and X to C 16 ringgit per unit. And the other transportation costs of factory Y and Z are represented by the blue and pink line respectively. This problem will be solved using the first initial solution, for example, Northwest corner rule method. Before that, we have to make sure that the total supply must be equal to total demand. This is called balance transportation problem. By using the Northwest Corner Rule Method model, first, we construct metric W and set up row as supply and the column as demand. Each row show unit supply from each factory and each column will show the unit demand from each destination. As you can see here, the total supply is equal to total demand, for example, 200 units. The value in small square indicate the shipping cost of one unit good from each factory to a destination. In this method, we will start allocating maximum number of supply to the box located at the northwest corner that is from X to A destination. As you can see, the factory X can supply 60 unit while the demand from E is 95 unit. What unit should be allocated here? We will allocate 60 units even the demand from A is 95 units. This is because Factory X has a limited resources and it exhausted. So we need to close the path of box XB and XC. It means that Factory X cannot supply the goods to B and C. The demand of A is still unsatisfied by 35 units. Same factory Y able to supply up to 85 unit, we allocate 35 unit to box YA to satisfy the demand of A. The box ZA has to be closed as the demand of A is satisfied. Next, we will move to satisfy the next column B and C by applying the same step previously, which is the box of YB will be allocated by 50 unit and we close the path of YC since Y is exhausted. ZB 22 unit and ZC is 33 unit. Therefore, the demand of B and C are satisfied, and we can see that the total demand equal to the total supply which is 200. Thus, the initial solution has been completed. The transportation cost will be calculated according to the solution model previously. First, we have to list all the allocated box that are X to A, Y to A, Y to B, Z to B, and Z to C. Next, list the unit and the cost transportation per unit. Then, you have to calculate the total cost for each destination. Finally, you will get the total transportation cost for this problem is RM3208. Conclusion is, the Northwest Corner Method is one of the initial solution for transportation problem. There are other methods to solve the transportation problem, which is minimum cost method and stepping stone method to get the optimal solution. So, see you in next coming video. Don't forget!